Okay, so for this video we're going to talk about the inverse trig functions of integration. But to do that, let's talk about differentiation first. And we're going to find dy dx when we have y equals arc sine of x over a. To help us out with that, we turn to our trusty formula booklet, and this is what we know about the arc sine derivative. And so, what we can say, if I find the derivative of dy dx, arc sine xa is simply 1 over the square root of 1 minus x over a all squared times the chain rule here says the chain rule of that gives me 1 over a as a scenario which then becomes 1 over a 1 minus x squared over a squared. Now if I tidy this up, if I distribute, if I put a inside, I can get rid of this fraction here, and so it ends up being a squared inside a squared times 1 minus a squared times x squared over a squared becomes x squared. And so dy dx is simply this scenario here. There's my derivative of arc sine. Now, If we want to do arc tangent, well, let's look and see what arc tangent. Here's the formula for arc tangent for differentiating. So, again, I'm going. To, this is a constant, so I'm not going to worry about that. So, dy dx is simply one over a times one over one plus x over a squared times the derivative of the inside function x over a it's going to be 1 over a and so if we work with this I can see it's 1 over a squared times 1 over 1 plus x squared a squared distribute the 1 over a and I get 1 over oh sorry this is 1 over a squared squared I lost my squared distributing this I get a squared plus x squared. And so this is the derivative of this arctan function. So if these are my derivatives and I want to do integration, well integration is going to be the exact opposite. And so here, if I want to integrate this particular thing, well that was the derivative of tangent. And if you look in your formula booklet, that or not tangent, but arc tangent. This is what the formula book says. 1 over a squared plus x squared is 1 over a arc tangent x over a plus c. Similarly, with this situation here, we get arc sine is the antiderivative. Uh, one thing to note out when we're looking at this one, the arc tan has an extra coefficient in front, whereas the arc sine does not. These are two handy formulas that are in your formula booklet, and you need to recognize them and use them. Let's try an example. So find the integral of the following. Well, I have a square root on the bottom of my fraction, which leads me to think that it's going to be some kind of an arc sine situation. And so if I look at what my forms that I have, if I rewrite this, I know this is the same thing as saying I'm going to pull the 5 out, and I can say 1 over the square root of, well, 9 is 3 squared minus x squared dx. So using the formula, then it's going to be 5 arc sine x over 3 plus c. And one of the things to make sure x, absolute value of x, has to be less than a because if it's more than a, then when I square it, this becomes a negative value, and I can't do the square root. But this is my antiderivative, 5 arc sine x over 3. Let's try another example. Here we have 1 plus 6 plus 4 x squared dx. Well, if I'm going to take the antiderivative, here's my formula booklet formula. And I need to make it look like this scenario. And I have a 4 x squared here. And one of the things I can do is I'm going to rewrite this integral 
I'm going to pull out. I'm going to pull out on the bottom. I'm going to pull out a four, which in essence makes this six over four plus x squared dx, which I can pull the one quarter all the way out. That's one over, well, this is three halves plus x squared dx. And so now, using my formula, I can see that it's going to be one quarter times one over a. Well, a is going to be one the square root of three over the square root of two, because this is a squared. Arctan x over a, which again is root three, excuse me, over root two plus c. And tidying this thing up, we end up with one over four root three and root two on the top. Arctan and then I get root two x over root three plus c. We should rationalize it and put it in proper form. So if I multiply this by root three over root three, and root three over root three. I end up with root six over 12, arctan root six x over three plus c. And this is my antiderivative. One more example here. We'll try this out. And again, it's a square root and subtraction. So I'm going to be using my arc sine formula, which I know looks like this. Let's take it over to the other page. Using our arc sine formula, what, what I can see is this here is my x value. And so I could do a u substitution here and call this u. And let's do that. This is a very simple one to do by u substitution, x plus 1. So du will be just be simply dx. And so then it's going to be the integral of negative 3 square root of 2 minus u squared du. Well, this is my a squared value. This is just a coefficient I can pull out to the front. And using my formula, negative 3, this is just the coefficient in front, arc sine. Remember with arc sine, there is no 1 over a value in front. And then this is going to be u squared, oh, not u squared, u over a, which will be the square root of 2 plus c. Changing it back, I get negative 3, our sine, x plus 1 over root 2. If I rationalize it, this will be times root 2 over 2 plus c. This is the antiderivative. So there's an introduction to integrating with arc sine and cosine. There's one more video coming with more advanced kinds of problems.